This is BBC News, the latest headlines for viewers in the UK and around the world. King Charles pays tribute to his late mother, Queen Elizabeth, and reflects on the cost of living crisis in his first Christmas message. At this time of great anxiety and hardship, be it for those around the world facing conflict, famine or natural disaster, or for those at home finding ways to pay their bills and keep their families fed and warm. Hello and welcome to BBC News. King Charles has used his first Christmas message as monarch to reflect on the cost of living crisis. He spoke of the great anxiety and hardship for those struggling to pay their bills and keep their families fed and warm. The King also paid tribute to his mother, Queen Elizabeth, who is buried in St George's Chapel, from where the King delivered his speech. Our Royal Correspondent Nicholas Witchell has more. Christmas at Sandringham, for the first time since the start of the pandemic. Familiar routines were resumed, though without that most familiar of figures, Queen Elizabeth. King Charles and the Queen Consort led the royal family from church. Just behind them, the Prince and Princess of Wales, with all three of their children, George, Charlotte and four-year-old Louis. Also there, with the family group, the Duke of York. The Waleses spent time with spectators, receiving their bunches of flowers, and then back to the main house for Christmas lunch and the King's first Christmas broadcast. The King's message was recorded in St George's Chapel, Windsor, close to the spot where the late Queen was laid to rest. Christmas is a particularly poignant time for all of us who have lost loved ones. We feel their absence at every familiar turn of the season and remember them in each cherished tradition. The King spoke about his mother's faith in the everlasting light of God. My mother's belief in the power of that light was an essential part of her faith in God, but also her faith in people. And it is one which I share with my whole heart. The King said this ability to touch the lives of others was evident in the selfless dedication of so many, including the emergency services and health and social care professionals, and it was particularly needed at the moment. At this time of great anxiety and hardship, be it for those around the world facing conflict, famine or natural disaster, or for those at home finding ways to pay their bills and keep their families fed and warm. We see it in the humanity of people throughout our nations and the Commonwealth who so readily respond to the plight of others. The King said he wanted to pay particular tribute to those who ran food banks, helping those in greatest need. Our churches, synagogues, mosques, temples and gurdwaras have once again united in feeding the hungry, providing love and support throughout the year. Working members of the royal family were shown, however, there was no mention of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. The King's message ended on a note of hope. So whatever faith you have or whether you have none, it is in this life-giving light and with the true humility that lies in our service to others, that I believe we can find hope for the future. A first Christmas message from King Charles, and one with a strong sense of social awareness for families who are struggling to feed themselves or keep warm. Officials say it would be strange if the head of state did not recognise and feel an empathy for people facing such difficult times. Nicholas Witchell, BBC News, at Buckingham Palace.